What is up my friends? It's Ray back here and in today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you some of my personal favorite accessories that I think are essential must-haves for the Nintendo Switch No matter if you have the new OLED switch the Nintendo Switch Lite or the regular switch This is going to be the video for you It is so hard to believe that we are already over five years into the switch's lifespan And this thing just continues to thrive with new releases not only on the game front But also on the accessory front over the years I've come to learn that you don't need a ton of accessories to enjoy gaming on your switch but having some around definitely enhances the experience from protecting your console to keeping it powered up to discovering new ways to play so without further ado let us jump right into this list so first up is an m film tempered glass screen protector m film makes some of my favorite screen protectors out there they're cheap reliable easy to install and they last i use them on all of my devices from iphone to ipad to my oled switch to my switch Lite. i bought a pack of these prior to the launch of the original switch in 2017 and it's still going strong so i can say from experience that these things hold up for years. Next up is the official Nintendo Switch Lite flip cover. The flip cover is a case that I have been recommending for the Switch Lite since it came out. It keeps the Lite true to its roots of being a compact, lightweight, portable console. Not to mention, it feels great in your hands too with that fabric finish. Pair the flip cover with an M-Film screen protector and that's really all you need to comfortably protect your Switch Lite. The flip cover is one of those things I wish would make its way to the regular Switch and the OLED Switch. Who knows, maybe one day soon. Next up is a Pokedex game card holder. I picked this little case up on Amazon a few weeks back and it has been awesome to store all of my game cards in one place. I don't have a very big physical game collection since I'm mostly all digital, but this little pocket-sized case is great to keep what I do have organized. Next up on the list here is the Anchor PowerCore 13400 Nintendo Switch Edition Portable Battery. This little battery may be pricey compared to others, but it fast charges the Switch quickly and it's officially licensed by Nintendo, so it's gonna give you some nice peace of mind knowing that you're not gonna be damaging your precious console. Continuing on down the list, we have another one from Anchor, the Anchor Nano Pro. The Nano Pro is a tiny little 20 watt USB-C wall nub that can safely fast charge a variety of devices. I use this thing with my iPhone, iPad, and Switch. It works really well. Plus, it's about half the size of the standard Switch charging brick. The Nano Pro also has a number of safety features built in for added peace of mind. At number six here are the Status Audio Between Pro. Since all Switch models now have the ability to pair with wireless headphones, you have an unlimited amount of options to choose from to game with now. One of my personal favorite earbuds are the Status Between Pro. These are audio files great earbuds at a budget price. They sound great for everything from music to gaming, and there's no lag either when you're playing games with them. Another benefit is that you can just open the case and they're gonna pair instantly with your Switch just like AirPods do with your iPhone. It's great stuff. Next is the Waterfield Design Switch Pouch. I've used a ton of different bags over the years to store my Switch gear and nothing comes close to Waterfield's pouch here. Not only is it beautifully designed and handmade, but it can also fit a whole lot of Switch stuff inside from the console itself to game cards to the AC adapter, a grip, wrist straps to even a pro controller and more the switch pouch is pricey but it's the only bag that you'll ever need to store all your switch gear in one place it's well worth it another great accessory idea is the satisfy elite bundle satisfy makes some of my favorite switch grips out there and their latest ones are no exception i've used these grips since they were prototypes way back in the day they make it so much more comfortable to game on your switch for longer periods of time when you play in handheld mode they kind of give the console that comfy pro controller like feeling that you cannot beat you can get the grip by itself or in the Elite Bundle, which includes this very nice carrying case. It's not going to replace the Waterfield pouch since it's not quite as spacious, but it does a really good job of storing all your things, especially if you do decide to get that satisfied grip. Up next at number 9 are Switch Dock Covers. These dock covers slip over the Switch Dock to protect your console from potential scratches when you dock it and undock it. I have one of these on all of my docks just for some nice peace of mind because, you know, I'm very particular about my tech and you never know what can happen. These things are cheap, reliable, and they look great too. Speaking of the dock, some other helpful things I found for it are these anti-slip rubber feet. The Switch dock has a tendency to slip around and get tugged by its wires, but these rubber feet solve that problem. Just stick one of them in each corner underneath the dock and voila, there's no more slipping and sliding. Next up, if you don't have the OLED switch with the updated dock and you play online a lot, another recommendation that I have is the TP-Link USB to Ethernet adapter. This cheap little adapter will let you speed up and stabilize your connection when playing online. It's multi-purpose too, so you can use it with your PC, Mac, and other devices as well. Another essential is a micro SD card. Card. The Switch does have some internal storage to download games, but it's only enough for a handful of them at most, so a micro SD card is kind of a must. I use the reliable yet pricey 512 gig Sandus Nintendo Switch Edition micro SD card, which I have in each of my systems, but there are cheaper options out there with more or less storage depending on what you need that work just as well. And last but not least on the list here is the official Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. There are a ton of Pro Controller alternatives out there, but the one that I always find myself going back to is Nintendo's own Pro 
controller. It's super comfortable to hold in your hands and the battery lasts forever. There's really not a lot to hate about this controller. So there you have it, my friends. Those are some of my personal favorite accessories that I use all of the time and that I think are must-haves for your Nintendo Switch, no matter which model it is that you have. There are tons of awesome accessories out there for the Switch, and this list is not even scratching the surface of what's out there. Accessory hunting can be an overwhelming ordeal, but it doesn't have to be. So I hope this video was somewhat helpful, and I hope it gave you some good ideas. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I really don't think there are too many things that you need to enjoy what matters most, and that's gaming and having fun. Just protect the console with a screen protector and a case, keep it charged up to keep the fun going, and everything else after that, in my opinion, is pretty much optional. At the end of the day, it's all about having fun. That's what the Switch is all about. Anywho, that's about it for this video, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did and you liked what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. Also, don't forget to follow at Racetrasis on Twitter and Instagram for much more. Until the next one, I will catch you guys later. Peace.